Fix-It. Break, break it. Good morning, 844 on your Friday morning, uh, the first day of a big event that we've been very excited about for a really long time. That's the Coyote 102.5 Rock Art Show. It's happening out at Cottonwood Mall, lower level by Macy's show this weekend. Mr. Ron Campbell, how are you this morning? I'm just great. Happy to be here. Thank you. Oh, it's always great to have someone who's got an accent on the air too, isn't it? I'm so, you could be reading a recipe and people would be like, oh, I just got to keep listening to him. I don't know what it is. Compelling. <laughs> you are a, a famous artist all over the world. You have worked on so many different things, but especially the Beatles animation. Tell me about your time doing that. Uh, well, that's a very long story, I suppose, but it started when I was very young. Uh, I was 20, uh, 24 years old when I was tapped to uh, direct the television show for the Beatles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm, I'm still a little bit bemused as to why I was tapped to do that, because it was such a responsible job for such as young shoulders. You know? <laughs> but uh, I was, and uh, uh, I went on from there. So you miss them, but you still were, you managed to capture their essence with the TV show and a lot of the the Yellow Submarine animation. And uh, is that what you're most remembered for now? Um, I suppose so. Um, uh, I, I have spent um, 50 years of my life, though, making other cartoons. Uh, 10 years of my life on the Rugrats. Lord knows how, but I did 10 years almost on the on the uh, Smurfs, can you imagine a <laughs> that, man spending 10 years on the What Smurfs? are you talking about? That was one of my favorite. I had the collection of all Don't the little... Don't tell me now you're a fan of Smurfettes. I'm sure you look a little bit like Smurfettes. Oh, I loved her. I'll admit it. I'll, I'll own it. I'll cop to that. Yeah, it's I that did. beautiful blonde hair.